All right, I'm making this quick video on how your throttle should be set up. It should be pretty similar to this. But I've taken off the air filter, and this is where the carburetor is after I've taken off the air filter and the air filter housing. So let's start with throttle cable. Your throttle cable should be set up somewhat similar to this. It can be hooked up to this throttle stop here or here. I've got it set up this way. So when you step on the gas, it pulls on the cable, and your throttle linkage does something like that. Okay. After you step on the gas and let off, it has this little spring here called the return spring. I hooked up another one right here just so it returns better. But you should have a spring right here that's connected to the throttle linkage and your engine itself. Okay, so moving on from this little action, when you step on the gas, your throttle linkage is hooked to another spring. You can barely see it on this side, so I'm going to step on the other side. Okay. This little spring is right here, okay? So when you step on the, the gas, it moves this spring, which is connected to this arm, okay? That arm, if you look back on the other side, is connected to a little rod and a little spring that goes around the rod, okay? So when you're idling, it should look like this. And then when you give it some gas, pulls that arm, okay, through that spring that's on the other side, connect, connected to this arm, which is connected to this rod. This rod directly linked up to your throttle, okay? So when you're idling, the inside of your carburetor looks like this, letting a limited amount of air in, give it some gas, and it opens that little butterfly up, okay? So give it some gas. Let's try that again give it some gas, opens it right up, okay? So, the way it's connected right here is that little spring should be connected into this little tiny hole, and that rod is connected in there, okay? So, you might be wondering what this other thing is right here. This is called the, the choke. When you're starting it, your choke should be closed. That'll let a very small amount of air in and let you have a rich mixture, which will help your engine start. So, after you get your engine warmed up, move your choke open. You're ready to go, give it some gas, opens up your throttle. All right, hopefully that'll help. We'll see ya.